Okay, so I see one of the more com common problems with golfers is their lack of knowledge of what really happens with the weight shift. Uh, most people believe that the weight on the takeaway shifts from the left side into the right side and then on the downswing back into the left side. But that's not what the top tour professionals do. They use the ground as their pressure board. Um, their weight actually gets wound through their body going up, like a cyclone. And uh, I'm trying to give you the image of it with this. Okay? So if I were swinging down, you see how I'm right in the middle of the vortex of the hurricane, or the tornado, so to speak? Now, as you take the club away, the weight shifts from the left foot into the right ankle, from the left ankle into the right shin, from the left shin into the right knee, from the left knee into the right thigh, from the left thigh into the right hip, from the left hip into the, the right rib cage, from the right rib cage up to the right shoulder, I'm sorry, left, left to right, left rib cage to the right shoulder, and then on the downswing it reverses from the ground. Right ankle, right to the left foot, down, pushing, holding. Right shin into the left ankle, downward. Right knee into the, to the left shin. Right thigh into the left knee. Right hip into the left thigh. Now at this point, I'm already in the hitting air with my arms. And what has to happen is some parametric acceleration from the upper body, the chest and shoulders. They start opening so the feeling is your left shoulder gets tall as your right shoulder comes through. Another great image is if you look at my back, my left scapula bone gets closer to my right glute, right about here. So this is hopefully a good example of it. I'm going to hit this drive here for you. I'm going to wind up and then unwind from starting with my feet. That's where you get the real power from pushing it through your body from the ground up and out. Thank you. Thank you.